Come on down and listen to the party. <laughs> we got Tone Time, Nick Pat, Connor, Cuba, Zeke, Do it, Mon, man. Day and Evergreen Park. And Governor so and Mike. And you Bill. Hello and welcome to the pod. <laughs> Tony and I took some time off. We did. Took a little vacation. Wow. It's, okay, it's good to have you guys back. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. How welcome was it, boys? Good to be good back. To be back. <laughs> I after about three or four days, four like after Thursday, I was like. So get the itch. There's only so much, so many fucking fruity drinks you can fucking drink. Dude. Oh yeah, you yeah. get used to. Them. You barbecue. Yeah. But in taking that time off, we got to thinking. Everybody gathered around. We reflected a little bit. We mm-hmm. took a look at a high level overview of how things operate. We wanted to change things up a little oh, yeah, bit. Right. So we have uh, decided that Tony Diggs will be hosting Hammer Down five days a week mm-hmm. on oh. YouTube. Yes, I will. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those Friday. are the five days. Yes, mm-hmm. Friday's the fifth day, man. <laughs> oh no, it's a happy hour. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Saturday oh, Eve. I but to uh, alleviate some of the duties that fall upon Tony, we've decided to become more of a communal show mm-hmm. here on the pod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we've long said this show's not about the host. No, no, no it's no. not. No. It's Never has been. said it since the beginning. Oh, wow. It's about what's in the folder. That's what's right. in the folder is the show. That's we right. are part of what's in the folder. We are the show. Mm-hmm. No one person is bigger than the show. No, well, well said. absolutely. Well said. Well said. So well said. we have decided to alternate hosts every episode, mm-hmm. and we'll see how that goes. And if it stinks, <laughs> we'll do something else. Yeah, yeah. It might. You know, it might. It knows? might. <laughs> <laughs> but people seem to enjoy you guys hosting while we were gone. You know what? Like, like we always, job. like we always say, hey, listen, if the folder is packed, you know <laughs> yeah, what? This show kind of, it, it does we'll itself almost. Yeah. And exactly. I know people have been clamoring for Mitt. Yeah. Oh, obviously. Uh, I mean, oh, fucking oh, rising yeah. superstar. I even saw some Mr. Mansuri shout outs mm-hmm. when we get Mike oh, yeah. in the head mic. There's no head mic. Uh, we'll, we will host it. Gumpy. I know Gumpy's been itching. Oh, oh let's yeah. Let's go, dude. Uh, Paul. Paul. Probably not Bill. You're probably not going to get Bill. No, 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 no Bill's way too be busy. Opening pokey cards. Yeah, for exactly. fucking eighteen hours. Exactly. And we can't be doing no. that. We listen to what you guys. Bill, like you being nice and Bill, what did being you too busy. do on your stream when you didn't open pokey cards? Well, I did get significantly less viewers. Never announced I was not going to open any Pokemon. Oh, You're a Pokemon Bill, you buy them. Guys. You need to. You're a fucking sell. You're not worthy of the XFL. XFL. We are obviously psyched for the XFL season to <laughs> yeah. come back. Uh-huh. What happened, Bill? You didn't fucking con anyone else to send you more Pokemon cards? Oh. 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 Well, I wouldn't say that because I do have fucking packs for the. <laughs> Wow, oh, delivered again. Bill, you've done it again, you magnificent son of a, of a bitch. bitch. Get some things in here. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, he does have this, this weaselly one. charm about yeah, him. Now, where if you're not around him for a week. These ones look different. This and is, this this is, is starts to miss him. What, what are these, Bill? <laughs> Battle styles? No, these are the, uh, shit. These are the newest uh, edition Pokemon cards that are out right now. Obviously, these look the like Mickey Mouse knockoffs. These ain't, yeah. these ain't my Pokemon cards. So how do you open them, Bill? Well, they're you just need in a cardboard fucking container. Fucking scissors, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, the pack itself. I mean, what a dumb way to package <laughs> yeah, these wait, things. First why? and foremost, hey, let's let all these kids get paper cuts from this sharp <laughs> cardboard that we got the fucking cards in. I said last week I am long done with these fucking things, no. so I hope this just reinforces. Yeah. It. I thought I was done too, but here we are. You take a week off, you come back. How much more money does boys. it cost? Let's Poke- go. Dude. Think about how much money Pokemon's nice making that they can afford to repackage with more packaging. Millions. Well, they are the still, number one uh, earning brand in the world. They're that still makes pumping sense. out, that makes you know, sense, video games. They're the number one out earning Pokemon brand. So Pokemon is making more money than, like, Coca-Cola right now? Oh, don't bring up Coca-Cola. Dude. Hello Kitty's still around? Wow. I know. Hey, Bill, what's the fucking trick here? Do we for put the best three in the back again? Yeah, four from the back and put them in the front. Oh, nice energy. Yeah. Hey, Hey, this card right here is why these take, things fucking stink, by the way. Take four and put 
four from the back. Oh, oh I got a good one on the end. Do you? I got a good one on the end. Bill, these cards clearly okay. stink. Energy. I these got a core fish. Bill, a core fish. Bill, what's the scroll of scorn, dude? I don't know, but it looks pretty fucking cool. Oh, I got a fucking licky licky. Oh, oh, time you got a little. You've been licky. trying for a little licky. Is licky. this the yeah. Declaration yeah. of Independence? Bill, what is this thing? I got a lickily licky and oh. a grandpa. Oh. I think Connor. Let me see that thing. Like Connor's is like legit. Oh. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Is it better than fucking Dory? Get, oh yeah, get, fucking laser focus is one of its. Get moves? these fucking cards out of here, dude! I got like eight dude. ball toys in mine. This thing fucking <laughs> st- his only yeah, thing is self destruct. This thing, thing lives to die. My Wally, that card is fucking sick, dude. How sweet is Cherubi though? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I started this whole Pokemon thing, I thought it was gonna be a matter of time before we got like a top earning card in the office. It is. It's not easy. Impact blow. That's what they say. You know, turn. you grow up, you aspire to be, you go to college. They say, oh, well, you better get good grades or else you're going to have to go into a trade. You're going to take up blue collar labor, pouring concrete, stacking bricks, Dude, opening don't... Pokemon cards. It's like slave labor. Look at you. Bill, get this I thing might have got the plastic mind. sheet immediately. Nah, nah, I, th- nah. I think I got the worst hologram of all time. Dude. What the Fucking hell is that? Tipig. Oh, yeah. Give me a Bill. Yay. Bill, Bill, come get your cards. No, 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 Bill, Bill, come get, get your cards, here, dude. Though. Get them out of here. Take them. Connor, were you giving this stupid card? We got cards? our as well. Yeah, I, got, I, I was pretty cool with God, Bufalon. <laughs> Bufalon is kind of sweet. It's a buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Pokemon cards were pretty cool there for a little bit. Like, it was a nice nostalgia moment. Like, I, opening God. these things again would be awesome. Um, but, yeah, these things stink. Yeah. And uh, I would, I, hopefully this is the last time we do this. Bill. Yeah. It was real. It was fun. It wasn't real fun. Oh. Uh, instituting rule uh, on my host days, there will be no more Pokemon cards. Okay. There we go. I like okay. that. I like that. Okay. I think all hosts should take that into account. I think all hosts will have their own I'll unique set of rules. Account, but, I mean, I just got a $20 card. You know? <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm, hot. I'm hot right now. I don't know if I can stop. Drampa, dude. Oh, you got a Drampa? the cards coming. Yeah. Fucking sap sipper. Oh, a Dram- sap what is the Drampa? Is like a drunk grandpa? Friend. Fucking... Call for family. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Pokemon. All right, listen. People, <laughs> people don't listen to the show for Pokemon. Cards. No, they listen to the show for one reason, and that's Godzilla versus Kong, oh, no. which did hit the theaters. <laughs> if anyone wants to go see it, I, I still haven't watched I it. I'll be honest. I'll be yeah, honest. However, yeah, go ahead, I go ahead. tried to go, but the theaters were sold out. Unfortunately, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. Well, okay. See, that makes sense. I haven't watched it because it turns out you can't pull up HBO Max in a foreign country. Nah. Yeah. Mm. That is a problem. Mm. I also didn't plan ahead and it was able, wasn't was able to download Netflix shows Oof. for the for the four-hour flight home either. Oof. So just had to watch the account twice, which was kind of <laughs> sweet. Wow. Twice, run it back. Great film, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I saw Elon tweet that it was the greatest movie he's ever seen. It's getting yeah. great reviews. This is problematic. I watched it. <laughs> Zeet watched it. Mm-hmm. We all know what Zeet thought. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was great. <laughs> Best movie ever. <laughs> Loved it. Starts off pretty slow, though. Uh, you got it. I think, I think in my mind, we hyped this up in this room so hard and so heavy mm-hmm. that I was yeah. so fired up for it. And then just when it, it didn't just happen right away, I was like, uh, I'm going to ask questions. Slow build. I'm going to ask questions. It's not going to spoil it. Maybe it will. I feel like we have enough backstory. Uh-huh. Was there more backstory? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, as much not. as there can be. They didn't right. get into a whole lot of plot and character development. Mm-hmm. There was enough backstory that they completely ignored that there were two movies leading into this four backstory. That's what my question was, because there was a lot of backstory in King of the Monsters. Yeah, they kind of just said, fuck all that. Here's not so backstory. much backstory in the one where fucking Cranston loses his wife. Oh Son. yeah, yeah, sure. In the origin, the entire, uh, original, original yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, they give you a brief little flashback at the beginning and say, "Hey, yeah, all this shit happened, but don't worry about it. We're we're going this way now. We're okay. doing this." Was there the red smoke jumpers again? Because that was the coolest part of the first no, movie. No, no smoke jumpers. <laughs> Those guys were. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I don't. I'll say this: if no spoilers, so okay, no spoilers. skip ahead here. But real oh, quick, wait, like, wait, wait, should I skip ahead? No, uh, they just ripped off Pacific Rim. Oh, mm, that's disheartening. Like they basically yeah. just grabbed the p- plot of Pacific Rim, well, threw it down, chopped it up, didn't even bother to move it around, mm-hmm. kept it, and we're like, yeah, we'll make that. But with is King Idris Kong. Elba in there? No, that would be electric. Yeah, though. that would have been sweet. Is fucking Charlie Hunnam in it? 
No, of course not. This is Luckily. actually a watchable movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that being my it point, there is right. watch it's watch right. the movie, guys. It's good. Come on, what? I mean, I de- well, obviously I'm I'm still gonna watch it no matter yeah. what. I mean, we got hyped up by the trailer. Like this is a movie that is built to just be sold as a trailer. The trailer was fucking. And I incredible. say that to spare you the same disappointment I went through. Right. The trailer does hype you up. We were all hyped up. Just know the first like half 45 hour, forty five. Don't minutes. skip through though. See, for that reason, well, I don't I do I that. Am. I mean, that's what I think I'm going to do. I know you are. That's why I said skip. don't do I it. I watched 45 minutes. You got to learn about anyways. the kaiju, obviously. Uh, yeah, I know, but I feel like I just want to see the ending of what we all know is coming. I mean, we've predicted this mm-hmm. quite some time. Is Dr. Han back? No. Mm, still there dead. is a. Still dead. There is a long may he reign. Is of he a back? Long live the king. Is <laughs> long, that, live, long live the king. He's Better actually not. the main bad guy. He's actually who Godzilla. Is. No, he's okay. not. Yeah, I'm going against. after. Okay, I did just, hear. I he did just, potentially yeah. hear the coach is back. Long may he reign. Coach, yeah, you knew they weren't going to yeah, leave yeah. coach out of this. Yeah. Can't. But, I'm, I'll watch I'm watching it. Please I'm get to watch it. it. I'm watching it tonight. <laughs> we only talked about it for like 17 episodes and six weeks leading up yeah, to this. I'm well, and that, it. it was very disheartening because I asked Nick actually reached out to me and said it stinks. So yeah. I so I was. But you, you know, gotta but, watch. No, no, no. Yeah, it, it's not. I mean, obviously, you know, you're paying for the service. You're paying for HBO. I mean, I have it there. I will watch it, but. I, I tell you what, the sense of urgency really is not the same as it once it once was. Yeah, see, I gotta buy HBO Max first, and hey, look, uh, we played a lot of golf this weekend. We, we did play a lot of golf. Break. Thought you were going to the theater. I thought this was a big celebration. Well, the movie's the, coming back. The the popcorn look, and coke. I guarantee it was better than that backwards movie you fucking liked. I, Tenet, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> I <laughs> said movie. I had my goodbye to the theater, and mm-hmm. it was going to see Tenet the second time, <laughs> and it was them. You know, wasting 45 minutes while I'm just sitting there like, okay, the movie's got to be coming on in the next 10 minutes. And I sat there for a long time. <laughs> and when you told me that Godzilla vs. Kong was what it was, a ripoff of Pacific Rim, I said, all right, I can't do this. Yeah, but you had to know I was going to say something. Pacific I thought you were going to say, negative. like, hey, it was, it was worth the great. hype. It lived up. They were going to save the theaters, which they did make $48 million on opening weekend, which was massive. Pretty good for right for now. Mm-hmm. Listen, right. the fight scenes were incredible. Pacific Rim, by the way, is an excellent film. Good movie. <laughs> yeah, but I already saw it. Pacific Rim 2 didn't hold up, but. No. You don't say. But from the sounds of it, you know. It, well, you know, the first one was good enough like, to be this, you right? Know? Well, is this gonna hold up? Because the next one, look, I'm I haven't seen the movie. I'm just gonna guess. Mega Godzilla versus Kong Godzilla. Dude, you know, there's a guess right there. I well, don't know what happened. Never seen the movie. Hasn't. That's mm. my guess. That's mm. your guess. And that was what we predicted was gonna happen. We did. I'm Wait. gonna watch the movie now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I That's will just watch the movie. I'm excited to see your reaction. Yeah. I can't wait. You'll have mine on Friday. We need it next episode. There can be no hesitation. Yeah, yeah, College yeah. basketball is over. Yeah, you're right. We got really no more nothing distractions. To watch, yeah. I know you guys don't watch hockey. We get no more distractions. No, yeah. Long may he reign. I'll watch it tonight. That's right. What are you fucking ho ho back there, dude? About baseball, my friend. Ooh, well, yeah, I mean, we're baseball. not watching I mean, that. It's week one, baseball Base. and wine, dude. Yeah, true. God, baseball God. and wine is right. They're true. Do yeah. that some wine. Shut up, Listen, Brent, Ty's the biggest baseball fan in this room, and I'm not sure he's turning down Kong vs. Godzilla to watch. Not tonight, game. I am. I'm not. No, not tonight. I'm not, not I game four. Four. HBO Max. Max. Yeah, HBO Max. HBO Max. I don't have that either. We'll yeah. we'll hand out some passwords here. Hey, after. We'll fucking exchange some passwords here. It's okay. I watched it on uh, Zito's TV, so we can just all do that too. Like you went to Zito's new house? No, no, no. Zito left uh, one of the TVs at the pub, so then I just used Zito's <laughs> HBO Max. Now I can watch all these shows. Okay, so you're just gonna let. So you did pour, watch it. You're just gonna let I us did watch it. It was Zito's sweet. TV. So we 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 had a conversation all about the movie. <laughs> asked if anyone had seen it, uh, and, and you, you just chose not to he's participate. Still trying Me to figure Zito out how to get it. Shut your dumb mouth back there <laughs> yeah Mitt did say last episode we talked about it a little bit and he said it was like one of the best movies ever yeah. he did say that that he makes a lot of sense the only yeah. thing that would make it better would be if it was a cartoon yeah <laughs> he did, did not say that but the I don't know if I disagree with boobs it it would be a <laughs> you're spot on. but the fight scene on the ocean is one of the coolest fight scenes I've ever seen pretty and cool yeah that was pretty awesome pretty okay. cool pretty just cool. when you think cool. it's over it ain't over Keep okay. Going. okay it's never over well dude me. quit it it's never <laughs> over <laughs> I did just watch Mitt try and shoot a hockey uh, ball Mm -hmm. from about five feet away from the hockey net, and it took him eight times. 
to uh, hit the net. So Mitt, right now, I understand that you didn't say anything because you're on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately standing in front of the net. You you never played hockey, huh? No, I've played. Uh, I've never played real hockey. I've never uh, hit a puck. Actually, I've only hit the ball. In the ball. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ball. yeah. Well, That, that empty time. chair will contribute more than Brown did the last <laughs> couple. Of years. I heard wow. Brown did not have the premier showing that everyone had hoped for. He took it on the shit. <laughs> what do he do? Nothing really, but people fucking <laughs> saw him. People were yeah. so oh, happy with well, that. Well, yeah. that's was, just new. He was doped out of his mind on the CBD, so, you know. It's, if you want to have a good time, go look at the fucking YouTube comments of that oh, video that boy. Brown was in. Come on, Come on guys. It's okay. Brown. Stay out of there. Brown, Brown. See, Brown, Brown to me is just like a, a smarter mitt. He's got a little bit of a deeper voice. <laughs> yeah. Smokes just as much weed. But he doesn't say the preposterous things Mitt does. True. No, 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 no. And he also doesn't have the <laughs> delivery. <laughs> right. The Mitt breathy, mm -hmm. sensual phlegm. Yeah. Although we did go uh, goffing with That's him right. on, uh, on Sunday. Did. Connor, Zito, Whew. and myself went with Bron. And Man. I'll tell you what, this guy had about, what, two Miller Lights on the course and fucking driving his car all haywire. I was worried about Bron <laughs> yeah. driving home. Bron right? should not be able Dude, to drive the car. I'm pretty sure course. he blacks out every time. He drinks. So when I was moving, he was supposed to let me use his car on the Friday yeah. so I could get everything over and the movers could come on Saturday and get the this big stuff. This was my I'd fault. I'd be done. <laughs> him and fucking Mitt well. get pissed up. <laughs> Brown shows up at my condo at 11.30, and he fucking housed, like, six Bud Lights in 20 minutes after he'd been out all night. That's Brown. And, and he, he didn't even remember. He forgot his wallet, keys all in the condo. Brown. And, That's Brown. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy. Brown. No, he is. But, I mean, jeez. Yeah, I mean, let's make sure. I mean, but also, he's got, he's get got your it. shit together. Yeah. Brown. He's got to enjoy it while he can. He's going back to reality here in a yeah. couple days. That's a good point. That's mm -hmm. a good point. Fair. How's everybody's Easter? <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the fog. I think it's about time. Yeah. yeah. We open fucking pokey cards here. You know? Yeah, I'm about done with that. Uh-huh. Wait, you don't want a Buffalante? <laughs> that thing was sweet. Oh, there's a slow poke in here? Come on. Keep an that one. XFL! Hell, 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 hell. hell! That's not true. XFL! The average human adult would be able to outrun a T-Rex. In your Ooh. fucking bra, dude. According to Uber Facts. We know that account lies. Which I think that account is full of shit, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zito probably Tony's said Tony's favorite that in, account, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> but this does tell quite a damning story if there is any truth to whatsoever, Diggs, about what you've been peddling recently. What do you mean? What have I been peddling? I mean, these dinosaurs, they're apex predators. Uh, T-Rex is a some of fearsome. Them are. They kill like us. A quick Google search could let us... Yeah, I mean, how fast was it? Let's no get our way. fact checkers on this. There we go. Well, they can't be that fast if they have legs oh, the size of sorry. chickens. Sorry, 45 miles an hour, okay? Ooh. Ooh. By sciencelinks.com. Okay, that one has yeah. science in it. That does that sound more sa accurate. Yeah, sausage sausage links.com? Science, dude. Science. Sausage? <laughs> you know, a human besides Usain Bolt that could run... 45 miles an hour. I learned a lot about it. Well, in this see, yeah, here I have that uh, they have, you know, science of they, a wide range of possible maximum velocities here, mostly around 11 meters per second, which is 25 oh. miles an hour. But I was going to ask Gumpy to do the conversion. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, well, here Michael we go. Scott ran and as high as 20, 20 meters per Thank second, you. Gumpy, what do you think? That's a lot. A lot dude. of clicks. How oh. many MPHs? I don't know, kilometers an hour, my friend. I mean, oh uh, yeah, so we'll double it then. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Actually, I have kilo I, I have kilometers here as well. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? Seventy-two kilometers. Seventy-two clicks. Yeah. yeah. What? what? They're fucking humming, dude. So I mean, if a T-Rex is running forty-five miles an hour, guess what? You're in trouble. You're dead. Yeah. You're not in trouble. You are dead. So you're telling this me Uberfax is, is full of this shit? This is a false. Yeah, this, this is a false. false. This is a big false. Yeah, Uberfax is get it out. Did Zeta send that in? Turn it off. I, uh, as a host, am in no position to right. confirm or deny Ooh. what was sent Nick and by who. Nick sent this one. Da, na, 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 na. I sent the one. <laughs> Nick sent What's next? Hey, <laughs> Hey, The question for the pod, how do you boys feel about stealing traffic cones? I personally believe a good night out isn't complete without a cone or street sign to commemorate the evening. 
That's I, cool if you're like 19. Yeah. Good. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, we tried. We all had cones and our old dude. Wow. What? Wow. Gump. Gump. Next. A traffic cone. I mean, we all had traffic cones. I understand. A couple signs. You People know. a lot more polite in Canada, but this is a common occurrence here in the states. People oh, yeah. steal things when they're boozed up. Oh yeah. I had a kid I had lived with in college who, like, every year when you'd come back to the apartment, you'd have, like, 18 different <laughs> new, like, street name sides. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Go like, climbing up pools and, like, street signs are very hard. You're going to come fucking yeah. swear. Cones are, I get it. Cones are easy. A grabable, you know, maybe if you want to set up a couple, do some hockey drills or something. Like, oh, like Billy Gardell, yeah, you know, exactly. something commercial <laughs> running in the park. Exactly. But, yeah, you, I'm, I mean. I mean, you take one of those away and someone ends up in a ditch. I mean, who's, who's the prick now? You know, yeah, good true. joke. I did not expect you to be Mr. Morality on this hey, issue. Hey, look, I have. Here's an idea: course. return your fucking cart before you fucking talk about people uh, stealing cones. I'm just saying, which I have done. I have started to do ask the Kroger man. <laughs> your, yep. your ways have been changed. I, I had. I mean, look, I didn't understand the cart <laughs> community. If you don't you want to talk back, about cancel culture? They oh, yeah. saw you down. You got it. Yeah. So I, I've started to do that completely. Was like, okay, I'm changing that. With that being said, the other thing, no way. No way. Can't do it. Can't take. How do you feel? You no steal, you steal a fucking stop sign. The next day, some asshole yeah. fucking goes through an intersection, kills a family. Uh, for sure. Well, I mean, that, was, that situation uh, again. You know, lock that guy up. But usually, there's there's one on each side of the street. Right? Yeah, dude. I stole a stop sign one time. Uh, of course. And no, nothing stole happened. A stop How sign? How do you know, dude? Actually, I almost did get arrested, but the cop let me go, so it was fine. Oh, yeah, because he heard you talk. He's like, Officer, I fucked up, dude. I did. <laughs> <laughs> dude, when fucking. When makeup pulled over that time, I thought he was going to have a fucking seizure. Dude. Oh, He's like, oh, open, open the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> Cars in like my crib tonight, dude. I just can't do it. But no, it's fine. If you steal cones and stuff, you're fine, dude. Nothing's gonna happen. You get a warning every time. All right, listen to me. Uh, baby, yeah. Baby. Fucking go ahead and do it. That's on you. That's on you. That's right. Doc, be, Dr. Dewey himself. <laughs> <laughs> Middle be your public defender in court. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it once you take it? Exactly. You leave it on the street. What? You just take it and then you leave it somewhere else. So you move it. Yeah. You're not even stealing it. You're just I mean, if you were relocating. Moto surfing with it, that's one thing. Yeah. I mean, so, so you're just removing a stop sign and then just <laughs> driving and like throwing it in someone's front yard? I have only done this once. And uh, yeah, I did just walk it and then just kind of toss it in someone else's front yard. Oh, it's yeah. heavy. Oh. I got way too heavy. <laughs> I got way too heavy and I was way too oh, pooped fuck, up. Dude, the fucking, fucking edges are sharp. Dude. <laughs> so many fucking people are going to stop it. Dude. The people's fucking <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also it's Should've attached to read a the fucking sign rock. Stop, I, I wish I could have like sit, been sitting on my front lawn and saw you carrying that stop sign down the street like oh. Jesus carrying the cross. Bouncing <laughs> 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 it on his back, and then you see the lights come up, and then you see me kind of run a little bit and then get stopped. Yeah, it was actually pretty funny. Maybe this. <gasps> And then you drop it and laugh at yourself. <laughs> Man, did you do an Easter God. egg hunt? Did you do an Easter egg hunt Sunday? No, oh, I, I wish. I was oh. way too hungover. Your fucking <laughs> bong hunt with your mouth the whole entire day, I'm sure. <laughs> Love you, man. What? Need you, man. What? <laughs> What's next? Oh, well. oh it's a lengthy My one. Here we God. go. God. I'm an eighth grade teacher with a bit of a predicament. Don't sleep with your students. Okay. <laughs> Last week, I noticed a couple new profile pictures. One student had Johnny nice. Sins. The other student had Mia Khalifa as their Sell picture out. above their name on their profile. My issue is if I call them out, they know that I was able to recognize the porn stars by tiny pictures on a Google screen. If I don't, I'm allowing pictures of porn stars to show up every class. What do I do? What, the, yeah, I mean, what you are just, you talking about, You just look dude? and say, hey, we know that's not... You, you should know your students are in eighth grade and don't look like me, Khalifa, and Johnny Sin. So I say, mean, hey, change your picture. Tommy, I know that guy's dick, and that yeah. is not you. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta Mia, get him out of here. Me, a Khalifa one, I get, but Johnny Sin's can play I, anybody, so you can't really do anything there. That's true. He's true. a chameleon. He's a fucking <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> he could be anybody. I mean, or at least that student could pick a porn star that's still in the game. <laughs> I mean, true. 
be fucking yeah, original now. with it. Mio, just Mio play was, ignorant. They go, oh, no, I, I, I didn't know who. The, I figured those were start, Minecraft yeah. characters. Yeah. You know, I mean, like you know that your your students are obviously just salting away at their balonies. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I mean, start calling the kid Johnny Sins. Hey, That's what he's saying, though. Then he outs himself as a fucking. Oh, I love watching Johnny Sins. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kyle. Me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me too. Yeesh. That's a that's a slippery slope for old Teach there, huh? What a clown! I just don't like. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just don't like that the student chose me, Khalifa. It is an interesting choice when he's like the wide variety. She of was a shooting star. I mean, she burned bright quick, very quickly, but she was gone. He should blame it. it. He should blame it on one of the other students. Hey, you know, uh, Timmy brought it to my attention that your your avatar is that of an adult film star. I don't. Think I'll that's do one better. Tell them the kid's mom brought it to your attention. Oh. Little Johnny, your mom told me that this is an adult film star that's... right here, Johnny Sins. He's been featured in over eight thousand movies. She's a big fan of his. I can't have it in that's, my class. What the hell is this play. about? That's huh? the play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good lord. So one of those approaches is going to work. Wait, my mom knows who Johnny Sins is? <laughs> what the hell? Could be devastating to a young, fragile mind. What's next? Oh, yeah, I'll crush him. Just curious Aww. if any of you guys have ever tried boiled crawfish. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Love it. I never have. Need it. It's a damn good time. Mm-hmm. Never had crawfish. Now, it is a bit of a seafood delicacy. But I feel like it's a southern thing, right? So it's not mm-hmm. going to be as, as common in New England. Is right? it massive? In is this Creole? Louisiana? Mm-hmm. Big, big, Creole? big in the bio. Yeah, yep. yeah. big in the bio. Mm-hmm. You ever have it, Ty, where you go to a place where they put like the potatoes, the corn, and the crawfish in like a plastic bag mm-hmm. with like all different sorts of seasonings and butter Ooh. and shit? Won't what have it treat. any other way. What a treat! It's uh, yeah. I mean, for me, you know, almost instant diarrhea, but it is delicious. <laughs> is that it right? Is, yeah, it goes right through. It's like me, lobster. But it, uh, what I don't know if I'd really like? say shrimp? it's like. Does it taste like scrimp? Yeah. yeah, maybe a little like scrimp. And then there, I mean, there are so there the seasoning and stuff in Is there. there little it, bones in them. I don't think so. You do, I mean, I think you pluck them off. It's not going to be presented like this, but you can get crawfish at the uh, Yats that uh, Cajun. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Cajun. There so. used to be a place in, in <laughs> Indianapolis, like downtown, that was uh, like crawfish and stuff like that, and I believe. The pandemic t- took them out. Oh, no. Yeah, I damn. believe so. God damn it. It was a good place. Yeah. yeah. Poor crawdads. That's a goddamn. I guy. could go for a crawfish boil right now, though, with the fucking pieces of corn on the cob in there as well. Mm. I'd love to try it. Cold yeah. beer. Mm-hmm. Ice cold beers. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you go to New Orleans, they're just, they'll be doing that shit on the street, just walking by. Mm-hmm. I Everywhere. fucking love corn on the cob season. Oh, Friday, yeah. Well, we're not quite there yet. I went yeah, to Chili's yeah. last night and had a. Uh, it was part of my um, Stop. my entree. And it, boy, was it bad! Yeah. So how was Me the high by July? People well, there. I mean, the the food itself still <laughs> top tier. Okay. It is okay, except for the corn. Except for the corn, corn stunk. Okay. Uh, okay. Chili's still around. Oh yeah, what do you Ch- mean? hey, Chili's still. But I tell you what, it was just a sad state of affairs in there. Yeah. I mean, I feel I like assume. they're one E. coli salmonella outbreak away from just total failure. See, that's the thing. Man, though, is their uh, their their food is so damn good? It is. But another big problem, you know, in that situation. I believe she left like three things off our bill. You know? <laughs> okay. So okay. listen, she's making up for it in a tip, but yeah, yeah. you know. Chili's is eating that on the back end. Yeah. So, you know, that and mixed with the, I mean, just, it was so quiet in there. It was weird. And they, like, had the TVs muted. It was like, boy, get me out of here. Turn music I on. used to love Chili's. Yeah. Get me out of here. <laughs> love Chili's. That's a bummer. Yeah. They had great milkshakes, too. Oh, yeah. Ice cold beers. Tall uh-huh. ones. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That looks delicious, though. I would mm-hmm. like to try crawfish. A nice full I'm not going to try it in Indiana, though. No, no, no. I, I will say that. Wait for the buyer. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? A new study says humans might have the genetic Ooh. capability to spit venom. Now we're talking. Okay. All right, let's try. I'll implant this into my teeth if I had to. Oh, it's you're, wanna, you're in for this. I want to do a cyberlink, but yeah, are you kidding me? If you were ever to get attacked... 
It's like someone comes up behind you and like, hey, I got you. And you're just fucking, oh, this guy is. You could actually hang out for a second. <laughs> if someone was choking you, like, I can just hang out because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's dead. I have venom in my teeth. So this guy's dead immediately. Also, or, this is an implant. Like, we can't just try now. Well, I don't know. Maybe. That's we, what I was saying. If it was an It's implant, not an implant. No, it's, ge- it's, it's, it's genetics, right? So no implant involved. It's just a matter of uh, bringing that thing to the floor. They're basically the saying X-Men. if humans were in the environment. Over years, <clears throat> where the ability to spit venom was necessary, you would grow it. Really, like frogs? Yes, mm-hmm. it's would, evolution, my friend. I would say uh, we are in that environment. I would have thought so too. I feel like that would be very useful. I feel like that would eliminate the need for a lot of uh, mass shootings and said situations mm-hmm. if everybody just had venom in their mouth. They should sell venom We're chaw, where you oh. just like fucking Ooh. pop a venom chaw and spit in someone's eye and then they, yeah, like yeah, it burns a hole in their head. I put oh, in yeah. a, I put in a nice Close. big chaw last week. Oh, that goes really? Really? <laughs> great. <laughs> Should have smoked a butt, dude. Oh, great, dude. Did you I puke? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I mean, I lasted like a good five minutes, so it was Spin, pretty good. Spinning Started big time. I was already spinning, mm-hmm. so I wasn't positive. Oh, the dip <laughs> yeah. spins are the best. Speed up. <laughs> but I did know that it was. I was pretty close to throwing up, so yeah, I took mm-hmm. it out. But it was sweet. I missed it. Oh, I could never do it, man. I could. The first time I turned white as a ghost. It's like fuck this, dude. <laughs> Give me that cigarette. I used to. I mean, it's been like it's been like ten years though. But when you get that sweet nectar back in, you, mm. it is delicious. Yeah, that delicious. nicotine will get you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Okay, here we go. Now I missed this, but I'm excited to hear where this goes. Last episode, Mick oh. casually dropped in that he believes in ghosts, but that they don't haunt drunk people. Can you expand <laughs> on that, Mitt? All right, so. Jeez. Oh, you're you're right. Right. Oh, you some water back oh, Take a drink. Oh. No, allergies, sorry. But okay. actually, Clear. so I have lived in a haunted room before, and I have been haunted by ghosts, <laughs> and I was never haunted when I was personally drunk, or any of my friends, they never got haunted when they were drunk, so I think I'm completely right here. But you were haunted when you were sober, is what you're implying? Yes, I was Elaborate. haunted when I was sober, and then it mm-hmm. would scare yes. me, so then... How? I mean, oh, you I can't didn't get, get some of the fucking med- me. my medicine. You get <laughs> real boozed up and get to sleep. No, so I had- my ghost medicine. <laughs> no, I had this like nurse. It was like this nurse lady, and she would like fucking just knock at the door and then just like stand there and then just like disappear and it was fucking. You weird had a shit. night nurse? What, yes. dude? Oh, okay, Mitt. Sorry, not everyone's got a nurse with yeah. big pants. <laughs> <laughs> Haunt them every single night. Yeah, yeah. Was she was like, oh, was like no mates here. Silver spoon. She was like Lisa Ann. <laughs> Mom, where's my, where's my wet nurse? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be fucking sweet, but no, ghosts are not, ghosts are not attractive, dude. They are scary as fuck. Do they look like the Lord of the Rings ghosts? Uh, no, it looks like a regular ass person, but then it just like, like, seriously just like disappears. So what's not attractive about a regular ass person? Uh, she's like super fucking old. She's Her like jugs were not like super tight. <laughs> no, they touching the floor. Oh, speaking of. I talked about this on the live show, <laughs> but I got it. I got to talk. I went to Key West for vacation, right? Oh, mm-hmm. First night there, first night out. My girlfriend and I go to this bar. It's called The Bull. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three story building. You pop in. Awesome little dive bar. Windows are open. There's a dog sitting right Ooh, there in the window. All the people crowding around the dog. Music's playing. Guy named Gerd Rube. Nice. <laughs> rocking on stage. What was he singing? XFL! Hell, 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 hell! Pretty much any late 80s jam you could think of. Bon Jovi, he had them all. Let's Tom go. Petty, he had all the hits. Didn't know any Hootie, curiously enough. Uh, why Gerd. not Gerd? Oh, uh, Gerd. It was a little really? interesting. But uh, second floor of the bar called Whistle Bar. Pool tables, balconies, very New Orleans like feel. We're okay. chilling on the balcony. I saw me weed out there. It was great. That's nice. awesome. Ended up losing it later that night. Got very drunk. That's Felt like a stooge. <laughs> While we're hanging out out there, one of the bartenders tells us about the third floor, which is a clothing optional bar Ooh. called the Garden of Eden. Ooh. Okay, we're, we're like, what's up with this? Now we uh, go. 10 bucks, Get slap you. on a wristband, you mm-hmm. go up there. People come down giggling their asses. I'm like, we got to go see what's mm-hmm. going on. We got to mm-hmm. go see the scene. We go up there. Probably 50, 60 people mm-hmm. fucking rocking out to Little John and Ushers. Yeah. Love that. Just, you know, dance floor, <laughs> cut the rug. <laughs> like, Damn. yeah. 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 The warm air. It's, yeah. a, it's an open up. rooftop. It's fucking oh, going. Yeah. Laser lights. The DJ's playing. You look to your left. 
fully clothed, fully stocked bar. You look to your right, just two dudes and two chicks, tits out, dongs out, no one under the age of, let's say, 47. Okay. As a baseline, oh. just some old floppy boobs, just floppy. Boop, 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 yeah. But still boobs, though, right? They, they were boobs. still boobs. Uh-huh. And then next to them, uh, a younger dude who was with them, he was a little bit younger than them. Uh, he was, uh, he had a cannon. Did Let's he? Let's just say okay. he was the life of the party. Okay. And then over by the DJ stand. Soft? One of the most curious things I've ever seen in my life. One dude completely butt naked drinking his hand just vibing just ever so casually like he was shy to go out on the dance floor but didn't care that he was already butt ass naked with his little dying dog hanging out Dude, i respect that. nick how awkward was it when the song got to the part bend over to the front and touch your toes <laughs> boop, boop, uh, boop, 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 boop. okay <laughs> We went up there, did a lap, said, "All right, we'll see you later." Went back downstairs, kept drinking. But it was like you gotta, you gotta experience that. Yeah. Did you, you gotta, show? Did you show dong on the third floor? I did not participate. Uh, it was a quick thought through the mind. Okay, maybe I. Do you get to like shake his here. penis when you get up there? <laughs> yeah, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Allow me in your bar. <laughs> I mean, nudes got to go to bars too. Dude. They got a spot. I, <laughs> it was awesome to see. It was like, all right, good for these guys. They Here's got my a spot. question: Is it frowned upon, like, if you're at a fully nude bar, like, for them just to have sex on the dance floor? Oh. There was a sign that said no mm-hmm. uh, sexual acts okay. are permitted. Oh, so this guy wasn't even getting his fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah this is, hey, crangled or this isn't no fucking scumbag joint. Okay, okay. this is a high class uh-huh. no he had white trash nude bar. Dick just in a hot dog bun, just <laughs> <laughs> just, just cooling it. <laughs> <laughs> We had swingers. Hey, here's my credit card. We had oh, swingers hey. on the swingers on the resort, but at hey, you want a hot dog? That everyone knew to avoid like two or three days. Did you get then. approached? No, no, I did not. I'm surprised you didn't go over there and maybe just like pretend like you lost well, something. This guy and trying to like, swindle your way into the situation. I, I fucking his wife was not good looking, um, <laughs> and I studied his moves. He had these sunglasses, and then when he wanted to like make a move with his wife, he would f- flip up the outer layer, mm. and they were. The, the, like the the ones that you could flip up the shades, yeah, and that I, that I could tell was that his was move. That was the sign, of like, all right, hey, we're gonna try to go. We're going to fucking love it. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's I'm surprised awesome. you said you bought weed up because I was offered weed and cocaine many many times. I did not. I mean, partake. weed's weed. You got to examine it. You knew what it was. Uh-huh. And yeah, yeah. I'm not buying coke from. No, I did not either. But yeah, uh, like a stooge. Got it, and then wanted to roll it, and didn't have any wraps. Went yeah, bought wraps. Yeah. Didn't have anything to cut the wraps. Went to CVS, bought razor blades. Was stomping on them outside my hotel room, <laughs> trying to get the blades out of the cartridges. <laughs> Turns out those razor blades are not actually sharp whatsoever. No, no, won't cut the paper. Really? Ended up just weaseling it together. Uh, figured it out, smoked a little bit, and then like a stooge threw it away. I think mm. it, with all the pile of shit because yeah. mm-hmm. I couldn't find it the rest of the weekend. Yeah. But it was a good time. News bar. I mean, hey. That's, that's sweet. That's yeah. sweet. I can't believe that it's half and half, though. Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah. 60 yeah. people are like, I thought oh, that, I thought was weird, too. People? Optional. Yeah. Like, it's not just their completely nude bar. Yes. But I guess. Why don't they just build another floor? But, hey. You want <laughs> All power to it. Yeah, put the, put the. Keep climbing the mountain. Yeah, the floor, the higher you go. Let's keep going. You know, why not? The sexier it gets. Yeah. Fuck it. You should have at least took off your shirt. Yeah. Or just your pants. You should have been shirt. I don't think you can. I don't think you can remove any article of clothing because I think that much like your guy with the sunglasses sends the signal that you are open immediately. <laughs> and then you are recruited. Hey, he's yeah. just like us. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. I mean, you could always just like hang your dick out of like your jeans or something and just kind of walk, walk around. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what's next? Hey, you peel this banana. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in a job interview, I was asked to think analytically and out loud for how many gas stations are in the U.S. without Googling it or throwing out a number. How would you guys go about answering it? Was this job interview to work at a gas station? <laughs> <laughs> 300 million people. Probably a gas station for every three people. How many gas stations are in the U.S.? 100 million gas stations. I feel like you would be <laughs> spot on here. 50 with- states. Okay. Oh man, you got lower forty eight. Are we including you, Hawaii? And oh Alaska? yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, we to drive to out, through though. a state, I feel like you see at least four, 
Uh, hold on. Were you about to <laughs> you say there's only four say, gas stations? Uh, in no, the I was going to say 400. Every, well, but every 250 miles. <laughs> <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> no, I was going to say 400, but now, as soon as I was about to say it, I was thinking now mm, it might be 600. Yeah, I honestly, I have no idea what a uh, reasonable guess for this Because just would on be. the highway itself, through an entire state, there's what? A fuck ton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, and plus it's two each time you see it. But then you got to think, like, in cities. There's one like every, every corner, four yeah. blocks. They yeah. do stack them. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's probably safe to say there's like ten thousand gas stations per per state. state. You would be that might be even conservative. No, yeah. it's it's. I looked up the number. That's it's way over. Really, really. really? Well, now that you've looked it up, what is it? One hundred sixty-eight thousand. What the okay. fuck? That does not seem like enough. I think we need more. I think we do too. One hundred sixty-eight thousand. Well, there's like there's probably like six in Wyoming. Gumby, yeah, how many I've, petrol stations do you have in Canada? Mm -hmm. It's three thirty-three hundred uh, per state. One hundred twenty thousand, I think. <laughs> what are you guys? What are you guys getting for the liter up there? It's pretty good on petrol. It's bad, dude. We get rinsed on gas. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting rinsed on <laughs> gas here too, dude. It's one hundred sixty-eight thousand locations. Uh, Speaking of, you should on. buy gas today. It's supposed to go up to like three bucks at some point this week. They Thanks, think. Dad. Yeah, no problem. I mean, look, like, you're all right. You're all right. That's actually a huge news. So, hey, and tune in to the XFL welcome, on Sunday. <laughs> hey, so, so in Canada, it goes by liter instead of gallon, but so it's here it's $4.24 a gallon. Is that right? Sounds about right. It's been pretty pricey lately. So, no, so yeah. it's not four it's bucks. Like, no, like, two like, seven, like two, two, yeah, two yeah. seventy four, two seventy five. Yeah. Okay, well in Canada it's five point three four five a gallon. The oh, fuck, man! Yeah. Holy it's shit! It's brutal, dude. It's absurd. Damn. Gee, five bucks. Does Canada not have gas? No, they have. To nah, I ride my bike, buddy. <laughs> 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 nah, free healthcare though. Shout out. Uh, we get it, man. Fucking shout out, man. Man, dude. dude, you're a fucking economic support. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever been to a place where, like, there's not a gas station within the next, like, 20, 30 miles, though? Yeah. Yeah. The interstate. <laughs> <laughs> Driving. <laughs> No, like actually been to like a town that doesn't have a fucking gas station. Yeah, sure one we time. Have. There's a uh, it sucks, dude. Actually, the time I went to Montana, uh, yeah, there was a place. Yeah, it literally took an hour and a half to go to get like groceries and shit. So Oof. I was sucked. thinking the same thing I as you guys. I saw a pipeline on my ranch just so I didn't have. To. Oh. <laughs> See, now that's a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa did have gas and shit on his ranch because you couldn't get it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was exactly thinking. It's called a reservoir. All that God shit. Damn it. All those shitty states shouldn't say what that. do you mean whoa. shitty whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Big big sky sky you you're mean you always claim to be from montana those are our people say, you son like, of a bitch jackass i didn't mean that that just i don't know bad vocab you there. sound like mm -hmm. the lethal coast is brown yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you, you do piece of shit dear god <laughs> <laughs> what's that unbelievable dear god Got a question for the boys. If you could be a major actor in Hollywood but could only work with one director since the year 2000, which director would you work with? Mm. Russo Brothers, so I could be a fucking superhero. <clears throat> and then I wouldn't only be in one movie. Happy in all of them. That's pretty good. Uh, I thought there was only one answer. And I was, I was going to say Christopher Nolan. Oh, Ooh, that's Nolan. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, give me Scorsese. Yeah, Scorsese. That, I, yeah. I was thinking Marty that. had some bangers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tarantino would be a good one as well. Ooh, yeah. There are Fucking. a few characters that mm -hmm. just See, circle through. Ron I mean, Howard. If I could bring him back, give me Orson Welles. <laughs> yeah. Of course. The You're playwright? Right, of course. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you would bring back Orson Welles. You know what, Tony? Just to kind of piggyback on that, I'd bring back Shakespeare. Yeah. If oh, I could. Big okay. Bill? In Hamlet. You yeah. Know, all those. Woody Allen. But being a superhero. Woody Allen. If I was like an Ant Man. Uh, stay away from Woody. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you've watched any of uh, Did Woody do something wrong? Woody else? Allen's Doc. a massive scumbag. Yeah. It turns out. Oh, um, no. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched any of it. Has anyone seen it? What's no. that? Woody Allen? Yeah, it's on HBO. Allen versus Pharaoh, something mm -hmm. like that. I think it's called. It's like a so still, many part documentary. Is he still alive? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I don't want to be fucking creeped out. By yeah, it. seriously. I think it was just a Seinfeld reference that I've carried for so long that I now have to dump out of my head. Apparently, <laughs> just don't go to a Roman Polanski reference either. Just yeah. stay away from all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Polanski, taking all my material. <laughs> <laughs> I like did you, that. Question. Did you fucking knock your voice box? I was off? sabotaged. Well, to take Probably this deep. one step further, if you could only be in one movie since 2000, which one would you be in? The Departed. 
Mm. Great answer. That's pretty good. Huh. Or do you go like Avatar and get like the highest grossing? Yes. Yeah. I personally would try to save Geely. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be shoot him up. Uh-huh. <laughs> shoot him up. Yeah, Gio, right? Giamatti is in his prime. Right? Oh, is that right? yeah, be able to witness that. Okay. I forgot that Giamatti's in um, the uh, fucking Bangkok's got him now. Bangkok fucking Dangerous? Hangover? Uh, hangover? Hangover. Hangover. Oh, yeah. Yes. Is that the second one? Yeah. Uh huh. He's an undercover cop. I don't remember that at all. Oh, yeah. I work for Interpol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember that now. We've got you now, chow. Mm-hmm. Give me the passion. I'll take up the JC Mantle. the Christ? Yeah. Good really? couple hours, yeah. That wasn't made in 1982? <laughs> Passion of the Christ? That was 2008, huh? Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. It was not 2008. 2004. 2004, there it is. <laughs> I didn't know that was since 2000. <laughs> you have lived a life, my friend. Uh-huh, it's been a long time. You know, it's been a long time. <laughs> Years I, run together. I, I'd, be, I'd do the town, obviously. It'd be Ooh. a great time. But Instead of Glonesy? I won't say on what side I'd be on. What? Would you be gl- <laughs> Glonesy? <laughs> yeah, you take out Glonesy? No, nah, I don't know. I think I'd be, uh, I'd probably be the cop who walks in at the end. They got fucking Fergie. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be my only line. That'd be my only line. Mitt, what about you? Glonesy. Um, I would probably have to go with, uh, Finding Nemo. Fucking shit. Sea biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd probably go. With uh, fuck, yeah, I'm forgetting it. Oh, Goodfellas, that movie was sweet. Okay, Since well, <laughs> let's go That's back to the qualifier. Transformers <laughs> would be awesome oh. with Mitt. No, no, with Mitt, with me. With Mitt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Mitt was a transformer. Oh, you guys, he, uh, he enjoys the movie because he was like, Bumblebee. Uh, did you guys see what dope? that car just did? <laughs> <laughs> Although Mitt was would be Sam Witwicky. Well, he would have been electric and good, fellas. He would have been like Maury. He would have just got whacked. <laughs> like a safe shot in the head or an ice pick stuck in the back of his head. Hey, what do you guys think about? <laughs> I swear the B movie was a lock. I thought he was picking that without a doubt. Bumblebee or the B movie <laughs> the B- starring Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> <laughs> the B movie starring Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, yeah. Turns out, no. <laughs> we were, we were both wrong. Good, fellas. Never would have guessed it. There's no good cartoon movies right now. All these movies stink. It says 2000, you clown. Yeah. Because it's a Toy Story 2. Yeah. I hated the Toy Story movies. Oh, because you were like Sid smashing up all your toys in that bag. Yeah, exactly. Dumping them all over the floor. Bitch. Piece of shit. I did root for Sid. What? It's kind of sad. What? Are you a... Man. Are you sociopathic? What's wrong with you? This kid. Not even Bill rooted for Sid. No. Yeah, well, Bill also... Bill's favorite uh, thing about dodgeball is uh, what's what's your favorite guy in dodgeball? Bill, you always wear that jersey. What the fuck are you talking? About? <laughs> you always have that dodgeball fucking jersey. Fucking Peter LaFleur, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, it's the, on, that's man. the main character in the movie. <laughs> I Mitt, just didn't you know who numb I nuts. Had, <laughs> I thought he had Pirate Steve, but <laughs> Bill oh, Pirate dip shit, it would say Pirate Steve. <laughs> 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 Pirate Steve. Oh, Pirate oh, Steve, oh, right? <laughs> so Steve the Pirate. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Oh, well, I thought Global Jim should have won that movie. So that was also. So you're a big uh, villain guy. Yeah, I'm a big villain guy. What okay. year was that movie? You probably want to have sex with Anisimov or whatever her name was. <laughs> Fran Stappen and Nevin the Miz. <laughs> Fran. <laughs> Laser. Laser. Out like a- <laughs> yeah. No, I would have. I would have definitely liked to talk to the uh, unicorn girl, whatever her name was. I forgot. Fucking Ben Stiller's wife, X. Yep. X wife. Oh yeah. She's on Since the market. When? Christine Taylor's on the market. Since mm-hmm. when? Very recently. Ooh. Wow. Like there you go, shot. Matt. Oh yeah. Matt. Good luck, Matt. There we go. Good luck, Matt. Matt. Good luck, Matt. The unicorn girl. Well done, Matt. Just be yourself, dude. I'm kind of worried about Matt. I'm looking at him right now, I think that I think working in the TD chair might be affecting his posture. Mitch starting to look like a velociraptor. Over my, here. <laughs> my fucking back has been getting destroyed. You look like yeah. You look like you look like a seventy-five-year-old woman with scoliosis. Because <laughs> you pass out on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you're I picture him passing out, hanging over the arm of the chair with his head on the floor. Yeah. It's your kidneys exactly. and liver being fucking, fucking damaged every weekend. Gummy dude. worms on his chest. Believe me, I've seen them with my own eyes. Bill, what are you pointing at? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going in, boys. 
Please hold. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, no, we got visual evidence for the people at home. This oh, jeez, Mitt. Mitt, stop doing that, You're dude. You're back. You look like Struganona. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. That actually makes so much more sense at why my back has been hurting in the exact spot that, yeah, I'm looking at now. Yeah, just sit up. Sit up, dude. Oh, get one of these. Get you one of these. Bring the chair down. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about you, man. I don't want you to, you know, I don't want you to wind up with a crooked spine here. Yeah, that's tough. His legs are strong, Mrs. Gump, as strong as I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but his back's as crooked as a politician. Uh, what's oh, next? Quasimodo, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, candy. It was just Easter. Everybody's got a lot of candy left over still, oh. unless you're Mitt. He's sleeping with his gummy worms yeah. in his mouth. <laughs> Who wins the candy bracket? Number one. As they should be, the one seed is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yep. 16 Whoppers. Whoppers. Right, yeah. The 8-9 yeah. matchup. Yeah. We go, you want to go That's through? Yeah, just have the Reese's move on there. Okay, yeah, we're moving Reese's on. Reese's, Reese's taking out Whoppers no in a landslide. No 16 underdog yeah. this time. No, no, no. no. The 8-9 matchup. We got Twizzlers and Snickers. 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 I'm a Snickers guy as well. Yeah. So 9 is moving on. All right, 5-12 matchup. Typical upset scenario yeah. here. Swedish fish against Junior Mints. Junior, junior Mints. 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 Feed me Junior stink. Mints. Junior Mints stink. I agree. Junior Mints stink three, three. as well. That's on you. It's on you. I don't like Swedish fish. Yeah! yeah. It's, it's, it's a good candy. They just get stuck in your teeth. I think it actually stinks. I think it's very bland. And I don't even care for Junior Mints, but for the sake of burying Swedish fish, I'm going Junior Mints. Let's go. I'm moving on. Good win. Frick. Good upset there. Uh, four thirteen. We got Kit Kat at four. Jolly Kit Ranchers Kat. at thirteen. Give me a piece of that, that Kit, Kit Kat, Kat ball. ball. Give me a break. Seems universal. Kit Kat's Apple going on. Salt. I'll stand alone here. I'll just put it out there. Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Sour Apple. Yeah, they're he, not better he, than. He does have Jolly Ranchers littered all over the house. Really? Rappers oh, or both. Rappers, <laughs> rappers on the floor. Jolly Ranchers usually stuck uh, to up his on shoes. Yeah, there was one stuck uh, on the wall leading up to his room. That is impressive. I'd look at before I go to bed. <laughs> M&M's at 6 and Gummy Bears at 11. You got to factor in peanut M&M's. Yeah, so you do. M &Ms. Yeah. Yeah. M &Ms. Are these all M&M's? Yeah, yeah, it has, it has to be because it's the only one on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what an absolute wagon that is. It's not M&M's fault that Gummy Bears didn't come up with other alternatives. Correct. Mm -hmm. you can put well, there's the ones that make you poop. Peanuts in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a the poop bears. I mean, so it's M&M's. Yeah, and I was moving on. And it's no question. 314 Twix, Twix Milky Way. Twix. Twix. Twix in a landslide. Yep. Yeah. Uh, seven ten Skittles Sour Patch Kids. Sour, Sour, Sour Patch, Patch Kids. kids. Sour really? Patch. Yeah. All right, I I'll die Skittles, on Skittles. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm on Skittles. Skittles. Stink. Unfortunately, Sour Patch Kids Four does three. win. Mm -hmm. uh, Starburst, Starburst, and Nerds two and fifteen. Now, does this include Nerds Rope? Nerds Rope is good. Nerds because I love. Nerds I do believe rope it falls under too. the Nerds family of nerds. products. So. Give me the Nerds. Give me the a nerds. huge upset. Although regular Nerds stink. What Nerds Rope? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'll eat them. You know, it ain't fucking better I'll than Starburst. Em. But yeah, I mean, Starburst stinks. Ooh, I'm gonna oh. take Starburst. Yeah, because Starburst also several different flavor packages. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, they also have new, you know, Starburst Burst. The yellow Starburst really mm -hmm. do drag it down, though. But Starburst they they all orange pink. Pink. I don't like the orange ones. Do I? I'm, I'm going Starburst. Pink is the only That's good the flavor. Starburst. Red's delicious. Cherry's orange delicious. is very good. Pink is the only good. No. Red, Cherry, Red is, is delicious. Yeah, it's a top tier. Oh, what are we? The Starburst moving on. There was a yeah, there was yeah. a heated Nerds. No. Yeah, Italian Starburst. in there. So Starburst. Okay. okay. Shout out Nerds Rope though. So we got, kids. So we got yeah, Snickers yeah. against Reese's. Ooh. Reese's. Yeah. Give me Snickers all fucking. Okay. Well, now we know Reese's is moving on. Yeah, I have Reese's as well. We got Kit Kat against Junior Mints. Kit Kat. Yeah, feels like another slaughter. Yeah. Uh, we want M and M's against Twix. Twix. M and M's. M and M's. M &Ms. M &Ms. I'm also gonna go M and M's. Damn it! M and M. And then yeah. it Crispy. was. M and M's. Was it was weird. Skittles uh, or Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids against Starburst. Sour, 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 Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch yeah. Kids. SPK. Sour Patch Kids. SPK. Underdog wow. roll, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go bottom to top. SPK against M and M's. M, &Ms. M, &Ms. M M's. Sour Patch Kids. You guys flip pretty quick. M and M's. Yeah. And then we got Kit Kat going against Reese's. 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 Kit Kat. I mean, is Reese's running all the way to the finals? Yeah. Obviously, all the way to the finals. The fucking Baylor. Twix, with bracket, Twix had a dude. bad match. Up there. <laughs> so what do we got? So we got, we got versus Reese's. Reese's. And I'm Reese's crowning M&M's. 
Wow. That's right. You know no. what? Because That's right. if you can include pretzel. Because I'm. If you, you can. can you can. You can. It's all the variety. Yes. I, because of that. No, yes. no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am going Eminem. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We got Eminem. We've got Eminem. What about Reese's got Pieces? M &M. We've it. got M and M. I got Reese's Reese's One, two, Reese's Pieces. Three. Reese's Pieces are just really Fuck. shitty peanut. Stop, M &M. It. Stop, Stop it. it! Stop it! With the butter Stop it! Man. Under protest. What a win! Here's what may swing me: the little ones that have the Reese's Pieces inside the actual Reese's. Have we had those yet? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I've had them. They're good. Not, yeah, they're good. I'm not, still sick of M and M's, but I do. I love can't those. believe a six seated M and M. M and M's has got the original, the peanut, the caramel, yeah. the fucking the peanut pretzel, butter, uh -huh. the pretzel, pretzel, pretzel. dark of, chocolate, dark chocolate. There's a lot of variety. Couple more. Uh huh. They got the milk chocolate bars now that are set up oh. like the Hershey's bar. They do, the and those are egg fire. Ones. unbelievable. What's that meant? The Easter egg ones. They're a little bigger. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Just trying to act like Reese's is only a one-trick pony here. It is no, a one-trick pony, but, actually. But hey, guess yeah, what? You had white chocolate mint? The no. Uh, well, uh, hey, yeah, sometimes when that. it's that good, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah it is. It's the original. Because I think the big cups kind of stink, to be honest. Uh -huh. I don't think those are as good as like a regular king size. I like the thins. I, I don't mind the fins. Like you get a bag of the really thin ones. A bag of the little ones. Yeah, really sure. fins. Fins, yeah, that's the thin fin cups. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Let's find out. What an absolute run. <laughs> For Eminem. That yeah. was awesome. I was pumped. That's that was awesome. Champions. I hitched my wagon to that mm -hmm. big time. Montana father claims his six-year-old son found a bullet inside of a bag of hot Cheetos. I don't see no bullet inside her. I mean, come on. This is just, it's like the fucking guy with the shrimp and the cinnamon toast crunch. It's mm -hmm. all bullshit. Yeah, we're gonna Fuck see more that, of this. dude. You're from Montana. Put that shit in your rifle. Go out and shoot. Shoot a bird or some shit. I you think called Montana a shitty state before. That I is not what I bullet said. Was that used. Is. Bullet was used. Bullet was used. So someone got Ooh, shot at the fucking potato chip factory. Like oh, gunpowder? So was a 50 cow? <laughs> Imagine that. It's Probably a 22. Was it through, Assassinated. Was it through the upper window? I mean, if this thing was an explosive shell, though, or something, you know, this kid fucking bites it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, blows his mouth off. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you That's mean Full funny. Metal Jacket, FMJ. Full disclosure, I did not read the article, so Same. I have no idea. The man's name is uh, Bowhorn Weasel okay. of Elmo, Montana. Okay. Bowhorn Weasel. <laughs> Bowhorn Weasel. Bowhorn of Elmo. Now. He told TMZ he bought a bag of chips on Saturday at a local convenience store on Easter. His six-year-old son I broke get it open. I TMZ on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a u. It's it's a used bullet. Is there blood? There's something on it. I don't know, Mike. You can pull it. Yeah, there you go. I found ah. fucking brain matter in my <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos. There we go. Calm down, Bowhorn. That might be some Cheeto dust on there and not blood. I don't know, Bowhorn. I mean, that is mangled. That, that could use. Yeah, that could. We're gonna be have to. Put, we're gonna have to shoot it into you some sort the, of mold. To I want pull a ballistic finger test. Yeah, you can see that. a burn pattern as well on the. Uh, now fucking, that may have been the corrosive Cheeto dust getting through the been. metal casing. Mm -hmm. well, flaming hot. Who was it? Flaming hot. hot whose stomach? Did, did hot, flaming hot. Little Xanax. Little Xanax. Yeah. Little Xanax. Yeah. Have we checked on Chester to make sure he was not? I mean, to me, this is just Chester up to his old tricks. Yes, oh, exactly. Okay. He, he loves hijinks. Yeah. I just figured this was another day in the life with Chester having to yeah. dodge a couple Correct. bullets, dude. Mm -hmm. Stop one with his you hands. Mean, you know how many fucking wives he's fucking been inside? Oh, exactly. Chester. Yeah. Chester's going to get some stray fire every once in a while. I just, feel, I just feel bad for people like Mitt who, like, whenever they eat chips, just go in with their entire hand and just scoop out a, like a gallon of chips at one time. Uh, I haven't, does he do that? Oh, I haven't yeah. seen yeah. He tries to, like, he'll try and eat it like an apple <laughs> like instead of, like, sure. picking a couple off. So he's so just, like, just crunching them all into, like, <laughs> a, yeah. yeah. If you eat flaming hot Cheetos, though, you have to eat about seven or eight at, like, one time, though. That's, the only way That's how you it. die, dude. That's how yeah. little, little Xanax died. Yeah, yeah. yeah, be careful, man. Listen, yes. Mitt, I'm 35 years old. If I try and eat more than a handful of flaming Hot Cheetos at a time, I will be rushed to the hospital mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. And can't even imagine. I have diarrhea for t eight days. Yeah. To you know. seven. Possibly the rest of my natural-born life. Uh, built different. <laughs> Bill, you're right. Hole in my stomach. They are good, though. Shout out. I like the puffs. Puffs, big puff yeah, guy. Yeah, that pull. See, mm -hmm. have you puff guys guy. ever? Now I know because we I we was brought puffs when we I talked about this, <clears throat> the Snyder uh, barbecue chips. Mm -hmm. Nick and I have talked about them fondly. Oh, Snyder's yeah. of Berlin. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you had the Snyder's of Berlin cheese puffs? No, they're Ooh. pretty good. They are, in my opinion, the best of the puffs. 
Okay. I do love cheese puffs. I wasn't taking that into account with Cheetos puffs. Let's see if I can... Just a regular... Even better than, like, the big plastic bin from Costco of all the cheese balls? That's, That's a delightful oh, yeah. puff. That's yeah, what I'm thinking. They're a little mm-hmm. bit... Uh, they're much softer they're than the Cheeto curls, puffs. Actually. The Cheeto puffs Ooh. are a little bit more texture, mm. a little bit more crunch. But mm-hmm. these ones a little bit softer. It's nice. Remember okay. Cheetos years ago? They tried to do like a combo of the the, cru- the the puff and the crunch. They did like the paw. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. they came in the green bag. I, do I was a fan that. of those. those I, I thought those played pretty well. I mix it up with those. I, can't, I don't think it was a good regular thing, but it was no. a nice uh, change of pace. Every now and then. How do you guys feel about the uh, flaming hot with lime? Just talking about the green bag. The jalapeno. That's the thing. No, with lime. It's like added lime. Oh, I have. I've heard of that. I haven't actually I haven't tried, tried it. Yet. I can get behind it. Pretty good. They had Chipotle yeah. ranch flaming hot. They're super hot. Really? The jalapeno yeah, cheddar flaming ranch is the. It's the best chip in the lineup. Okay. okay. That's saying a lot. William. Mm. Gotta be careful. If it's a Flamin' on Cheeto, I can't have more than 10. So. Yeah, your mm-hmm. butthole will yeah. right. sorry, explode. But it's not my favorite. Mm-hmm. What's next? Oh, here we go. All right, here we go here. Michael Hack exposed his genitals oh, yeah, in acts that began, continued, and ended while Flight 6607 on August 10th was in the air, according to Corp. This guy took his cocking balls out on the airplane. I saw this. How I hot was the airplane? And his name's Mike Hawk. Mike Hawk. Uh, I assumed he was coming from that nudist bar where you were. This was this, <laughs> this was a, a spirit flight from Dallas. Take me back! <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't stop. Do you think it's possible he was just like rearranging like his nuts and his dick like fit, fit fl- there. flopped out the side of his leg and he fell asleep and they were just sitting there the entire flight <laughs> well what the headline <laughs> refused to tell you was I think uh, he was the pilot of the plane no my god is that right so this dude's just been dropping trout and flying planes for I don't know how many years and I don't I don't as far as I'm concerned whatever stays in the cockpit is fine you know if, if you keep that door shut do whatever you want pilots are known to have sex with each other up there that's true flight Wait. that's what turbulence mm-hmm. is man uh-huh. Oh, wow. Did you know that See, man? I would have just thought this dude was like just taking a picture of his wing and sending it to his girlfriend and kind of getting out. He's flying a plane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think he potentially has maybe has an OnlyFans? Yeah, dude. That's I have a seen sweet Mike Hawk. Video. That would be a sick picture. People yeah. have told me that some OnlyFans accounts will take nude photos on airplanes. And really? And also. <laughs> flying a plane. Yeah. <laughs> The plane also flies itself. Penis basically. is sitting on the fucking controls. <laughs> yeah. Look at me go. <laughs> My dick's flying this plane. <laughs> My God, here I am. That's awesome. Man, so you can fly a plane then, pretty much, since you said it flies itself. Uh, I'm pretty sure the hard part is like landing and taking off, but like in yeah, the air. Yeah, those are pretty important too. <laughs> no, but like in the air, you're not doing shit. You just set it on autopilot. You can snap pixel your wing. No, man, you can't. <laughs> This guy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that was so pure. <laughs> My cock. Oh, uh, what's next? Are there anything left? Oh, here we go. All right. Appearing on YouTube series Unfiltered with Zane and Heath. Of course. That's sweet. Social media personality, Whoa Vicky. <laughs> That's a person I knew existed. Shared a smartphone life hack for getting out of a phone call quickly, and she was branded a genius. I feel like I do know Whoa Vicky. I don't. She, I don't know that person. she was real big on IG for Whoa, just her appearance. What's Mitt, do you what know? What do you mean, Vicky? Bill? I have no clue who oh. this is. What do you mean by that, Bill? She uh, she, she acted butt? very ghetto. I remember her now. That right? She tried to fight someone. Or? Well, <laughs> what was her uh, life hack then? The hack, the actual <laughs> important piece of this conversation, was if you answer the call. And then flip your phone to airplane mode. It sends a message that the call has failed, oh! rather than it has been rejected. And it says that it attempts to reconnect, but it doesn't actually reconnect. I never knew that, but I actually have pulled that move a couple times on Facetime. Not surprising. Yeah, just like oh no, actually, and then bang, you hit it in the middle of a sentence too. I didn't know it does that though. I just figured it ended the call. Yeah, well, it does. But for them, it says it's called fail. These people, yeah. yes, that's awesome. So you don't seem like that big of an a asshole. Prick. Yeah, these people you're Facetime with don't see you just fucking swipe. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm like, I'm walking around in the middle of something, mm-hmm. and I just a little like finagle, doo, doo, boom, over, done. Hey, Sorry, your dude. internet must stink. Yeah. Uh, we'll try again later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or uh, if depending on the time, hey, I'll just. You know, I won't even talk to you until the next time you call me and I hang up on you again. So what, how long? 
So you gotta stay on an airplane mode for a few minutes though, in case they get track, they call back. Exactly. Yeah, I assume it they would probably it would probably reconnect if mm -hmm. I don't know actually. I usually I wait know. an hour when I do it. An hour? Oh yeah. Keep your phone on. for a whole hour. Well, no, if you got Wi Fi an hour. Exactly. No, you have Wi Fi. But then they'll come so through on the FaceTime. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had, I've never had to deal with that problem. If it's just a phone call, I don't know if it'll come through. But if it's FaceTime, it'll still come through on Wi Fi. If I'm not on Wi Fi, I'll just pop the laptop out. Hotspot. Well, wow, you're going see, all out. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, believe me, sometimes I really don't want to talk to some people. I usually just uh, don't answer the phone call in the first place. Yeah, that's the, that's the way to go. Shoot Boom. a text well, back. Dep depends who it is, you know. Auto reply. Can't really be that big of a prick. Pooping right now. Call you back. Sorry, Grandma. Who are you too important to talk to? Oh, Sorry, not. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I'll take your shit. <laughs> I'll talk to you a little bit. Uh, I'll take a dump. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I just don't call it. I just don't feel like it right now, Grandma. All right. <laughs> Listen, Grandma. Thanks for the Easter card and check. I'm <laughs> fucking busy right hey, now. Hey, Grandma. I'll, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Okay? <laughs> you want me to answer the phone? Double the fucking price next year, okay? Hey, how about that? Love you, though. <laughs> love you, love you, Grandma. Love you, Grandma. you grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. What? <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, we, he's don't stop there. saying hand in checks. What? Example. <laughs> you want to go to a game, Grandma? Got season tickets. The coronavirus pandemic has sparked a nationwide catch-up. What? No, uh, who cares? That has restaurants. Great. You shut your mouth. Well, what the hell is Heinz doing then? Actually, all right. Ketchup packets are in short supply. Relax. This is interesting now because last night uh, with my chicken crispers, I did get uh, barbecue sauce, and they bring ketchup, and they tasted the exact same. <laughs> It's saying right. they're doubling up. Yeah, it, it's almost Cutting like they're, they're mixing barbecue sauce with ketchup <laughs> oh, to, and just serving it. I mean, yeah, it was not oh, great. Oh, barbecue. No, thank you. Well, it's I don't stopped. know how we didn't see this coming. When the pandemic started, it was like, yeah, you can't use ketchup at the tables anymore. You're yeah. touching things, you're passing around. So we got to load up on packets. Now there's a packet shortage. Dude, Jamaica had salt and pepper shakers on the table. It was fucking Ooh, awesome. That's a game changer. Missed it. No yeah. salt. They also had Heinz fucking ketchup bottles there, too. That yeah. is a nice touch. Wow. Well, that's the thing. Like, what's Heinz doing? Can we get some, some we, money over there? There's only like, hey, so much. <laughs> we need a little more. Do you know here. what it takes? Like, the retrograde plastic that has holes in that ketchup? So is the plastic the problem or is, or is the ketchup Yeah, space makes it. Okay. You know what this tells me? It's not the ketchup. We got plenty of ketchup. It's time to go back to ketchup bottles. Yeah, Glass. we did it. I agree. We did it. We beat it. We beat the Good ketchup shortage. Good job, guys. Thank God. Yeah, I mean, ketchup packets should have been outlawed many, many years uh -huh. ago. Especially. I, well, we talked about this before. How have we not improved the ketchup pack? Yeah, I don't know. Well, they did with the uh, like, the one that you the, can the, the, the the squeeze. The, the, or like, looks the, like a ketchup or dip. Yeah. Who squeeze determined that that was the amount of ketchup you were given? Some packet? asshole. Dave yeah. Thomas. Why are we not tripling Dave. the size of these packs? <laughs> Dave Thomas. Yeah, this is enough for a fucking uh, shit uh, single. <laughs> Wet is enough ketchup for a Wendy yeah, single. That's right. Listen, I've I've seen Dave. Uh huh. That uh, was not enough for him, and I sure as fuck know that it was not Hank John Hines who fucking mm. created that. Cause he, and the fries. I need more than yeah. I got to rip open each pack individually, square it out, throw it away, and then they're on the table, and then it's sticking. My body learned to adapt. Just say, hey, enjoy the fries without the ketchup. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just that load, load them up with salt and pepper. Yes. Ranch, maybe. There is a sweet ratio of salt to ketchup that you need, and the, le the least amount of ketchup, the more salt. Can you do a... Put that in a museum. Can you do a bar graph on that? I could. Pie chart? I could do a fucking... <laughs> Venn diagram? Uh-huh. It's a graph. See. Zero to 100. Goes lit. Ketchup, zero to 100. Some. Salt, milligrams. Asian wings, uh, Asian zing wings waiting in my fridge <laughs> that I just started oh. thinking about. Boy. No. I mean, it's, no. Yeah. I'm going to demolish those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's have a night. Is there anything left? Is that it? Do we reach the bottom? That's it, my friend. The well, the well is dry, and you know what that means. It means it's time for us to go home. That's right. And we'll be joining you in a few what couple a day couple yeah. days a day? here, so we'll give you some time to catch your bearings <laughs> I, I don't know if these uh pokemon cards by the way have countries but this is a galarian slow poke okay oh okay oh versus oh, galaria the, versus the norwa norwagen exactly the norwagen slow poke isn't, isn't purple i don't think I think no it's, cool. it's more of a uh 
pinkish. Got a little bit That's of a right. hue to it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for listening. Uh, hey. And if you enjoyed listening and you're only listening, why don't you check us out on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's check right. Check it out. Bill, is the page link corrected yet? How or do you find the guy? Do you just Bill? Google Bill. YouTube slash the pod in YouTube and Google and then, oh, there it is. Or you just search Google YouTube the pod. Yes, yeah, no what's or anything. Did you call the link though? Slash. When do we get the URL, Bill? I, I don't have like a countdown or anything on that. I can't well, really should. answer. Well, Bill, expedite the goddamn thing, can you? Bill, wheels. God damn it, Bill. Let's go. Regardless, go to Google, search uh, YouTube and the pod. We're on there. Subscribe, please. Also, I don't know how I got thrown into fucking picking the winner for that subscriber thing, but I'm I'm not in on that. Hey, tough titties, Bill. Get yeah, it they done, picked okay? you. They picked, they picked you, you pick my winner, friend. And let them know. They know Hard you're, you're, you're said YouTube, the kitty, but the milk's still good, Bill. Pick a winner. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> while you're while you're on a subscribing spree on YouTube, go check out that's hockey talk as well as Hammer Down, which now moves to five days a week. Thank you. And ah! the best wrestling. Of course, the best wrestling, wrestling. Uh-huh. Show, show period. period. Yep. But BWSP. BWSP. Botch the title. <laughs> well, no, no, because he ended the show with the best wrestling, and then uh, but he gotcha. started with the best wrestling. He actually so said the, sure. he ended it with the greatest wrestling today. Yeah. There the you BWSP. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. The BWSP. BWSP. Hit them all. BWSP. Check all the boxes. BWSP. Subscribe to all the two channels. BWSP. 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 Easy. BWSP. BWSP. Anything else? Thank you. No, see you Friday. See you Friday. See you Friday. See you. See you. See you.